So let's continue. We have to think about this rule because it underpins so many other um, grammar-based rules. For example, comparatives. And ing. It's not just. It's not just the e where it affects. Um, imagine when we're doing gerunds or continuous tense form. You know, it's an ing, isn't it? It's an ing. That, boner, boner is put, yeah? This is not putting. This would be puting. It's not a word. Computing is a word. What are you eating, my love? An apple. apple. An apple a day keeps the... That's how why. That's right. Um, when you first start speaking English and children start speaking English, they pronounce all of the sounds like in Spanish, more or less. And so they would say, computing, computer. It's not a computer, is it? It's a computer because the E is affecting the penultimate, the, the penultimate letter, the vowel consonant, vowel, E I N G. Okay, so if you want to say putting, listen to the sound. Putting. Uh, uh, it's a short sound, isn't it? Well, putting depends on your accent. We have many accents in the English language. So we have a double consonant to stop that affecting. It's a rule. Once you know this rule, new sounds, new words, um, the pronunciation is a little bit more easier to remember and also um, completely new words and I'll try and put some up here uh, it will give you a better idea of how to say them right so ing we have to think about that don't we mm -mm -mm. we also have to think about it with the comparative rule Superlative rules. So let's do it backwards. Let's go out, out reverse. Let's get do it backwards. If you have an adjective with more than two syllables that doesn't end in Y, um, a three, four syllable adjective, uh, clever, beautiful, intelligent, marvelous, to make it into a comparative, we have to put a word before the adjective, and that's more, more beautiful more um, clever than, more intelligent, etc. Yeah? If it's a two-syllable adjective that ends in Y, so pretty, dirty, filthy, which is the uh, extreme adjective, uh, cosy, which is a cogedor, uh, fussy, which is... Tikis mikis. I'm going to write these on the board for you. Uh, then we take away the Y, get rid, kitar, get rid, good riddance, get rid of the Y. And then we put I E R. So happier, dirtier, filthier, and cozier. Fine. Okay. What about one syllable adjectives? Let's look at some of them. Fast, what do we do to make it into a comparative? Add ER. Yeah? Fast becomes faster, that's fine. Tall becomes taller, that's great. Here, that would be. That would be biger. Biger. We don't say biger, do we? We say bigger. Bigger. The bigger picture. So to make bigger, we have to put a G there. This is biger, like tiger. Tiger. No, 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 no. Bigger. E. Eager. Bigger. Cool. That's correct. 
And the reason or the justification that a lot of English teachers, non-native English teachers in schools uh, say is, well, if it's vowel consonant, add another consonant. And that's kind of correct. So vowel consonant, if we did this. Just wait a minute, Jay. May I'm making a video. Just wait. Can you wait one minute, please? What's the matter? Excuse me. I'll put this up, but remember, you've got to sit on it. Watch out for the little bits that move. It's not the best one for sitting on, to be honest, for you. This, this word here, would be fate. Fate, which is kind of like uh, destino, destiny, malo. We have destiny, which is positive, and we have fate, which is more negative, I would say. Fate. So we don't want to say fata, we say vowel consonant, add another consonant. Ah, short sound, fata, short vowel sound, fata. Cool, which is fine, and this is like like a repeated, brainwashed into students to the point where I have uh, C1 level students who come into class and they spell things certain ways. I go, why have you done that? They say, vowel consonant, add another consonant. Slow, vowel consonant, add another consonant. I see that all the time, or I see lower, spelt like this, or the lowest with double W. No, think about the rule. Apply the rule. Fat, a, ah, big, e. They are short sounds, so you want to maintain a short sound. How do you say that? Slow, o. Oh. It's already a long sound, so it doesn't need another consonant we want we want it already has the vowel long length sound i o u i o abbreviation that English people often use. I owe you a favour. I owe you nothing. Ooh yeah. Nothing at all.